Samantha, I'm excited to be sharing with you this year's Melanesian Festival. I'm Elsie, I come from the Solomon Islands and I'm here at my second time at the Melanesian Festival in West Auckland. Having a Melanesian festival here in Aotearoa means a lot to me because we get to celebrate our unique cultures, languages and traditions somewhere that's far away from our homeland. Come with me and let's go meet the other Melanesian countries and why this festival means so much to me. We had been talking about with a few of the community elders from the Solomons, Vanuatu, Fiji, PNG, that uh, we needed to bring our people together. Um, you know, this lot's done for many of our other Pacific Island cousins and families, but uh, never in this space for Melanesian communities. And so in 2022, the came to fruition with the help of Creative New Zealand and Pacifica Art Centre. And now we're in uh, year three of our Melanesian Festival. So really happy as you can see today, huge turnout and so many different communities and cultural groups as well. Why is it important to have Melanesian gatherings like this? And is there many um, that we have in Aotearoa? Melanesian festivals in Aotearoa? I don't think so, we're the only one. Why is it important? Um, because the Pacific is bigger than just Polynesia. Polynesia, Micronesia, Melanesia. And I think um, people often forget that we even exist and yet we have the most diverse um, languages, living languages, cultures, vibrancy, diversity. Um, it's massive. Like Papua New Guinea alone, over 800 living languages. We know this, right? But does the rest of New Zealand? <laughs> they need to come here. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what you're offering. Oh my offering. gosh, so we are Studio Kin. We've got poetry books, color cover. We've got earrings, we've got handmade by Emile, um, amazing body oils um, by Maka, and then I've got prints on sale and bookmarks um, of endemic and native Fijian plants. Yes! How important is it to you that you get to share your Fijian uh, culture through I see this is cool. Yes, yes, yes it important. is. is, it, is that oh my gosh, it's our life. This is what we do. This is what we live and breathe. So very important to us. The product that we have is our kava, which we get from uh, Kandavu in Fiji. Uh, that's our pride and that's our name as well, but we've got other items that we get from Fiji as well. We. Naka. What are you most excited about this year's Melanesian Festival? What I'm most excited about is representation of our Wansolwara people, our Te Moana Nui Akiwa, and that we are uh, representing our people here in New Zealand and Aotearoa and we are connecting our larger one Solwara, our Pacific peoples within New Zealand and our connection to our the largest you know piece of body of water in the in the on the planet. So for me, this is a really special occasion. We are from Papua New Guinea. Uh, this festival means so much to us because uh, we are the biggest country in the Melanesian and also part of the Pacific. And we're so so happy to be here, to be part of this community, and we hope it's going to be bigger and better again next year. What are you looking forward to the most today? Well, just meeting everyone from, you know, from Vanuatu that I haven't seen, uh, people coming from all over New Zealand, because I've been here in Auckland since March and I haven't met a lot of people, so it's good seeing everyone and also seeing all the cultural performances. Hi. Hello, yes. so can you tell us a little bit about what your products are today? We've got arts and crafts, the, um, the baskets from the different parts of uh, Papua New Guinea. These are from the Sipi, East Sipi and West Sipi province. And then we've got the um, earrings, the uh, necklaces, and then the baskets. And they're also from the coastal side, the coast of Papua New Guinea. And we've got um, the Mary blouses. It's basically Papua New Guinea. You identify women with Mary blouse and billooms. This is our identity. How do you see Melanesian Festival progressing in the future? How are we going to maintain those protocols around our dances and cultures while also still extending on what we have built in the past three years? Um, I think the important thing is to keep educating the younger ones that uh, these dances have meaning and they require protocol and certain practices uh, and we have to follow the custom that comes with it to show it the respect that it deserves. Eh? 
And I think that way we'll instill in the younger ones that uh, it's, it's important and you need to be proud of, of wearing it. Because eh? a lot of times we, there's little of us and we get classed with all the other Pacific Islands. So here's one unique place where we can actually be ourselves and bring out the deeper meaning of who we are. Thank you, Tomas, for joining us today at the Melanesian Festival here in West Auckland. We look forward to making this a two-day festival, hopefully. This was such a great opportunity to celebrate our cultures and strengthen our connection as Melanesians here in Aotearoa. And until then, look at me, Fala. Bye-bye for now.